So I will resist the temptation to introduce some Mission Impossible music. So, where are we? How cool is that? So as you can see, lovely cops of trees behind me. Now it's a ideal subject with certain issues. Ideally, it's on a slight mound, so it really stands out from the immediate surrounding and from certain angles it's an absolutely perfect dome of trees. Now I suspect you can see the issue you have with this composition in that there's walls in the background, cows in the background, trees in the background. So it's hard to get a clean separation from the background itself. And I do wonder how important that is to have a really clean separation. I mean, the cows themselves are part of the scene, but given a chance, I'd rather they're not, I'd rather they weren't there. A lovely carpet of buttercups in the field. And can watch on, it's in the car. It's about two and a half hours to sunset. And what I'm looking to do today is experiment with composition and, oh, nobody behind you, and the placement of the trees. Now with this tree itself, especially from the angle I mentioned where it's an absolute lovely dome of trees, the square format is absolutely ideal because the symmetry of the tree really suits that. Um, that aspect ratio. It doesn't suit having the trees on the left hand third or the right hand thirds. For me, it looks like a seesaw that's just unbalanced and about to tip over. I'm going to have a go at a, a wide panorama putting the trees in the middle. Now, that worked really well when I went to Sycamore Gap and photographed the tree there. One of my favourite photographs of recent years, I have to say, apart from the issues with uh, the polarisation in the skies with it being a panorama. The sky itself is looking absolutely wonderful. You've got the wispy clouds all around it. A moment ago there were some huge rain clouds behind the camera. They're gone. Sunset, I say, it's two and a half hours to go. I don't suppose I'm going to get any spectacular colour. Um, the ideal angle with the sun as it is it's probably from 20 meters behind me so you've got some lovely side light if i photograph from where it is now which i'm not going to because it's cows behind it it's front lit and it doesn't suit or work as well for me so with me having stop looking you watch it's not there yep it's going to be quite low just over the brow i'm going to do a lovely wide angle panorama one with the tree on the left trees on the left one with the trees in the center and one with the trees on the right and then i'm going to do a lovely square crop different different compositions so the tree is quite small in some and quite large in the others with enough space around it to breathe mm. Special, special. I really resisted the temptation to go up to Malham Lone Tree, Malham Tarn, Godhill Scar, Janet's Foss. Just on trees. The tree at Malham won't, wouldn't work in a square format for me because it's, it's not symmetrical. It's a lovely tree at certain times of year, but with it being um, quite an irregular tree, it doesn't work as well. Again, something like a a church works well when it's dead centred, if it's a symmetrical church, because it just, it feels comfortable in the scene. 
So this is the problem I'm having with a small P. This is the absolute ideal perspective to get the circular shape to the trees. However, as you can see to the right hand side, you have a smaller tree, which I could clone out and I probably will do because I don't want it there. And you've got the row of cows in the background. Now as juicy as cows are, I wish they weren't there. The further over that way you go, and I may have got some photographs, it loses the shape. And it's amazing how much difference it does in the resulting photograph. That way it's, it's, it's curved, but it kind of sticks out a bit. On a plus side, quite warm. Feet aren't drying out. Some lovely clouds. I've just got an amazing time lapse with the clouds going away from the trees. Yeah, the wind seems to have changed direction slightly, so it's coming from right to left. Behind the camera, the clouds are. It's like a scene out of Twister. Yeah, it's it's a challenging, it's a challenging composition. You can't go that side because you've got the trees that I've showed you earlier on. In the, well, I thought that was a the moon then. In the scene, you can't go further down there because you've got the trees over there in the background. Does it matter? Does it matter? Oh, them clouds, them clouds. I might give you a book out. I've got a book on clouds. Yep, I'll show you what I mean in a second about left, right and centre placement of the trees. So it's going okay. The horizons, a block of cloud. So there's going to be no colour as such. The sky itself is still fairly decent. It's getting a bit muggy, if I have to be honest. We're going to do a full 360 of the tree. You may be able to see. So that's just about an ideal angle, but as you can see, the tree's lost its wonderful roundness. And it does matter, especially for a square crop. Symmetry really does matter. If I could get the composition I got from up there, from this angle, that would be ideal. I could clone that out and I could probably lose that from the shot if I got nice and close. Oh, look at these, there's some absolutely gorgeous, see if you can see, grass, grass is down here. I'll we'll skirt around it, so yeah, mm, maybe not. I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to give it a go at that. Don't look too bad from there. Get a bit of the symmetry back. And what I've got, I've got the grasses here on a slight mound, and I've got a dip with the buttercups, and then I've got the trees and the actual horizon surrounding the tree is not too bad at all. Bit of a long exposure in the foreground, maybe. The problem I'm having is the long exposure will look okay with the um, with this grass stuff in the bottom, which will look a bit little ethereal. But the tree itself will be blurred because of the long exposure. I could maybe merge the two. 
as you can see behind me some nice coolers in the sky I mean look at that for a blanket of buttercups I feel a bit feels a bit wrong traipsing through the bluebells I'm leaving a really great trail behind me but I am getting well wide of the tree there must be billions of buttercups in this little field yeah again I know I'm labouring the point but that looks like a completely different tree you've got the bit there sticking out you've got the flattish bit there this side's not too bad which side this side's not too bad yeah I would love to find out who planted that copse of trees I mean it must have been hundreds of years ago maybe I'm being a little bit uh, romantic thinking that somebody may in bygone times have sat atop that little mound planted the trees and thought one day yeah the further around you get you do lose and obviously from this angle you get the power lines in the background oh and cows are making me hungry cows that side sheep that side and my tummy's rumbling yeah this side not a very pleasant shape and the trees themselves are just over the horizon or over the little mountain should I say slightly around there were some lovely colours and some lovely light on the on the uh, background hills but that's gone yeah that's where sun's going to be setting humongous amounts of cloud but these trips are never a waste there are people driving by thinking I'm with my camera over there so just about done a full walk around yeah that's uh, quite bizarre how much that tree changes we're getting some lovely colour in the sky some lovely yeah that's uh, shaping up nicely indeed and we are back the tree with its absolutely amazing shape what time we got oh, excuse me we have half past eight sun setting at quarter past nine yep back to that moment what do I do what do I do I think I'm going to stay for a bit more not too long though yep catch you soon guys see ya so I've just taken the photographs from various angles and it's getting dark now so what I'm going to do I'm going to pack up head into Ilkley grab a pizza and uh, shoot off home always a shame when you don't get the sunset you're after however I'm definitely a cup half full kind of guy sheep have gone cows are still there and I'm starving anyway I've enjoyed having a look and I'm certainly looking forward to getting home to see what the photographs or what the resulting photographs are like again I'll pop a swathe of photographs on so you can see how moving the copse of trees affects the composition I think I'm going to prefer the square crop probably slightly wider I'll pop up the panorama with a tree in the middle just so you can see I don't think it'll work as good as it did when I did the same one in Sycamore Gap with a Sycamore Gap tree. So I shall sign off for there. Have a good weekend and I'll see you.
got every single cloud in the sky behind this clouds behind there behind the sky Ugh.